Recently, I did a video on the best free PDF editor, in my opinion. And based on feedback in the comments, I realize there's a need for a PDF editor that's compatible with Linux. So today, we're going to fix that. Let's get into it. The video that I recently did was on PDF gear. That video came about by a real life experience. The company that I worked for didn't renew our Adobe licenses and I was paying for Adobe out of my pocket for several months until I thought, you know what, enough is enough. So I went on a search for a PDF editor that was free that would perform the tasks that I needed for work, which is editing PDFs, converting to and from PDFs, and some OCR functionality. And I tried a number of free PDF editors and settled on PDF gear, and I've been using it ever since. I am not sponsored by or affiliated with PDF gear. I've just been using the software because it fits my needs. But you guys let me know in the comments that it would be good if there was a Linux compatible version. The program that we're gonna be looking at today was recommended in those same comments. This program was not on my radar, so I checked into it. And it seems like a pretty good program, especially for Linux users. Now it is a web-based application and it's just my preference not to use those. Now, in this case, it's a little different. This isn't a for-profit company that's gonna be selling my data and storing my information on a server who knows where. This is a free and open source project put together by developers. And your information only hits their local server whenever the actual operation is taking place. Other than that, everything else is stored locally. Now, if you're a Linux user, then you also have that ability to set it up on a local server. So today, we're talking about Sterling PDF. Sterling PDF is an open source PDF editor designed to be lightweight, cross-platform, and user-friendly, especially for those using Linux. It was developed to provide essential PDF management features in an accessible way, catering to users who need PDF manipulation without the high cost or resource demands of larger, proprietary software. Key features include cross-platform compatibility, Sterling PDF runs on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, making it a versatile choice for users across different operating systems. Sterling PDF's editing tools include Merge combines multiple PDF files into one document. Split separate specific pages or ranges of pages from a PDF. Rotate and rearrange allows users to rotate or reorder pages within a PDF document. The conversion tools can create various file and image types from PDFs and vice versa. Advanced OCR tools for extracting text from PDF files. With annotation tools, users can highlight, underline, or strike through text, which is helpful for reviewing and adding notes to documents. It includes features for password protection and PDF encryption, which is helpful for users handling sensitive documents. The interface is simple and intuitive, making it a good fit for users who need straightforward functionality. Being open source, Sterling PDF is free to use and continuously improved by the community. It's great for students, freelancers, or anyone who needs a reliable PDF tool without paying for a subscription. Okay, usually at this point, this is where I would show you where to download it, show you how to set it up, but there's no need because for Windows and Mac users, you'll just go directly to the website and I will show you that quickly. For Linux users, well, they're Linux users. They don't need me to show them how to set it up. So I'll show you real quick where to go and then we'll wrap this up. Listen, do me a favor. If you found value in this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me out tremendously with that YouTube algorithm. It allows the channel to grow and it enables me to continue to bring you content on a weekly basis, just like this. Thank you and let's get back to the video. Okay, so let's jump over here into Google and I'm gonna go to Sterling PDF. Now the first one here obviously is for you Linux users. 
And I don't need to tell you what to do here. You know exactly what to do. So I'm going to go back here and we're going to go to the Starling PDF home page. Okay, so this will be for Windows and Mac users. Go here to pricing, but the free version here offers all of the PDF tooling. There is a pro and enterprise version, but they just add additional support and things like that. You still get all the tools with the free version. And once you click get started, I mean, you're here. You can go here to the tools menu and begin using all of the different functions. So there is no software to download. It is web-based. You just come right here and start the uh, editing. Okay, my Linux friends, there you have it. A free and open source PDF editor with most of the functionality that you need. And Windows and Mac users, that's just one more option for you. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Check out some of these other suggestions. Thank you for watching and until next time.